Folks, I get questions like this from time to time. Thought it was worth making a video about it, but your loader or your bucket's not sitting level, okay? And that could be, well, actually the last time it came up was with a snow pusher that wasn't sitting level. It was side to side wonky, right? And so there's a lot of things that go into this, a lot of, well, let's go from simple to most difficult things to check on your tractor, on your equipment, to make sure that it's set up correctly and see if we can narrow down where the problem's at. Now, it goes without saying, you need to make sure that your ground is level. Yeah, it may look level, but we have drains that are sloping here, okay? We have a floor drain, floor drain, everything slopes down to them. Now, we are pretty much sitting kind of with the slope right here. So you can see the whole bucket is on the ground. That means the rest of the tractor is kind of on that same, that same slope as well. So it's all consistent. So that's a big one to check out though, because I've had folks tell me it's parked in the garage. They send me a picture and it's, it's one side's off the ground. The other side's not. Well, is your ground level. Occasionally it's not. Now in the case of a snow pusher, Another obvious thing you'd want to check just to rule out because it's simple is the height of both skid runners. You have one on the left and the right hand side. Make sure they're set at the same height because if they're not, obviously it's not going to sit level. You may also be able to see the rear blade and if that whole rear blade is making contact or consistently not making contact, then you're good to go that way too. But easy enough to rule it out. Now one that uh, we don't see very often, but we did start to see it a few times with the manufacturer that we dropped a year or two ago, was the brackets on the back side of an attachment for a skid steer quick attach or a John Deere quick attach are welded up crooked. Now this can be a little bit harder to measure, but if you can kind of square everything up and take some measurements that are consistent on the left and the right side and see if they are identical or not, that'll help rule that out. Or if they are not identical and one side is sitting up higher than the other or the other side is sitting lower than the other, you know, same kind of thing. Well, then you know you have a problem with your attachment. And while it's rare, it's not completely unheard of. So it's worth checking that too. Or let's say the one attachment is the only one you have problems with sitting level and all the other attachments sit level just fine. Well, you know, you can probably rule out the tractor and the loader portion of things and focus on a problem with the attachment. Hey, and while we've got this Kubota sitting here, I thought it's an appropriate time to mention, we are gonna be installing bucket brackets on this Kubota from JU Fabworks. They are a discount club partner. You buy directly from their website. You use code GWT to save 5% off your order. We did a whole video about bucket brackets on our John Deere tractor. Well, that bucket's sitting outside. Very handy, you can put a receiver on there, chain hooks, D-rings, all sorts of stuff, strengthen the top rail, add versatility, a pretty cool way to enhance the bucket. Now, a couple of things could be going on with your tires. One, again, seems obvious, is tire pressure. Make sure all four tires, well, I guess the front, the left, the left and the right on the front are the same PSI, the rears, left and the right are the same PSI, so everything's identical, because if you have lower PSI on one side than the other, maybe you have a slow leak and you don't even know about it, but that happens and it'll throw off the levelness of your attachments. Now, the other problem that I've personally had with tires was on a John Deere 4 Series I had a while back. I don't remember which specific one it was, doesn't matter. Had R4 tires all around, but it was a different R4 tire on the left side versus the right side. They were off by an inch. One was taller than the other by an inch. I kept trying to figure out what the heck is going on here it just, you could feel it, right? You could just tell something was off. You could visually see something was off, but you couldn't figure out where it was. And being the same tires, same tire tread pattern, they were filled the same PSI. It was the weirdest thing, took a long time to figure out and uh, was not covered by any manufacturer, any dealer, nothing else. That was money out of pocket to get one correct tire put on there and make it right. We are proud to be sponsored by RimGuard Solutions, a liquid ballast weight. It goes right inside your tires, completely hidden. We're big on safety on this channel. These tractors are just too light and tippy right out of the factory. Not only is it gonna help with safety, keeping those rear tires planted on the ground, it helps with loader efficiency and traction too. The benefits of RimGuard include being the heaviest all natural liquid ballast weight on the market. It's not gonna corrode your rims like the old calcium chloride. It's not gonna freeze and it's available at over a thousand dealers nationwide. Find the dealer near you at RimGuardSolutions.com. A couple different things I've seen go on with loaders, in particular John Deere loaders, one on this end and one on this end. Now you have independent paddles 
on John Deere. And it's been mentioned a lot how they, they don't both go down and up at the same exact rate. Sometimes it's, you know, like this, and then it's like this and kind of wonky. Typically, once you're connected to an attachment, they're, they're in unison and how they move, but there still is an opportunity potentially for them to be a little cattywampus and provide an opportunity for it to be out of level. So maybe I like to kind of fully reset things, you know, rock it all the way back, roll all the way forward. I don't know why, it's probably just like turning your computer on and off to fix a problem, right? But on the rare, rare, rare occasion I have that happen, that seems to resolve the issue. It's worth a shot anyways. Now in 2017, I ordered a brand new John Deere 3046R, open station tractor, 320R loader, I think it was on there, maybe the H165, same thing, just a different sticker. Um, used that for a long time. On occasion, one side of the loader base would kind of, the loader would almost kind of start to pop off. It kind of like move around a little bit, not completely, but just weird. It wasn't solid. Anyway, it took a long time. It'd been in for service and uh, a warranty deal once or twice. Dealers couldn't figure it out, but on the last time it did go in there, they realized that the mounts for the 3R series, which are unique to that series, it had two right-hand mounts that somehow were able to both bolt on, on the left and the right-hand side, somehow sort of work and interlock with the loader itself but not completely. And so that was the problem with that one where it would kind of come on and off and cause uneven you know, usage on the front end with pallet forks or a bucket or anything, one side being a little bit higher than the other because there wasn't a solid rigid connection there with the wrong bracket on there. Pretty unbelievable that that happened, but, and I think that's gonna be a, a rare occurrence for anybody out there, but stranger things have happened. I'm proof of it. Now you can see this bucket here is taking its fair share of abuse and you know, certain attachments get worked hard, right? So there's always a possibility that the bottom edge has just got wonky and out of square because of how it's been used and, and it's got a lot of work out of it, but that could be causing an issue. But even though this one has, has seen us better days, it's still in decent enough shape and that bottom, that bottom line, that bottom rail is laying straight across, flat across the floor. So I don't think that's an issue here at all. But one thing that that customer's dealer told him to check on his 1025R that he had was bleeding, lot, or bleeding air from the hydraulic system, that potentially there could be an air bubble in there because he's got a two cylinder, you know, this Kubota has one cylinder in the middle. The 1025R has a cylinder on each side and potentially, you know, there's an air bubble in there somehow causing things to sit out of level. I personally think that's a pretty low probability, kind of a pain in, butt, in the butt to check too. Um, I'd say, go ahead, dealer, you can check that if you want to, but that's not something I'm going to do. Now, the last thing I can think of is to measure other points on your tractor on both the left and the right. So maybe under uh, the front axle and under the rear axle and the left and right points, does your belly mower mow level? I mean, has that been tweaked or set up or, or changed or out of whack? You know, do other attachments on the back mow level or cut level or grade level or whatever? Is it only on the loader? Can you narrow it down to... The more you can narrow it down, the better, I guess is what I'm getting at. So this is everything that I could come up with to check. Probably not exhaustive. I'm sure you guys have other things to take a look at too and maybe some common sense things I haven't even thought about. But it is a real problem that a lot of tractor owners have. So if you have something to share, an idea to help them out, leave a comment down below and let us know. Now, if you're looking for something for your tractor, we'd love to help you out. We sell and ship tractor attachments all around the country every day of the week. Check out goodworkstractors.com, free shipping, rewards, and financing too. If you enjoyed today's video, we'd love to have you tag along. Hit that subscribe button right down below. I wanna thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by. And until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.